Hey, welcome back to After the Episode, brought to you by Line Cutters, the adjustable ring that cuts fish in line. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to After the Episode. We're going to talk a little bit about what we did today. Uh, Dean was throwing his new custom rod that he just built. This thing's pretty bad in the boat. You want to tell him about it? Yeah, we can. Um, it's an MHX six or seven foot, sorry. Um, medium action. It's it's an awesome rod that I use for reds, trout, Spanish. It's really light. And it, it weighs nothing. You can cast it all day long and not have any issues of being tired. It's really super light. I put abalone shell on it there. Um, everything I did to this rod is all done by me, built from the ground up. I think what took the cake today was Dean's jig. We got into a ton of Spanish mackerel, as y'all saw. So let's talk about hex head jigs. This Dean just happens to make them. It's a certain technique that you use, and it was absolutely deadly on the Spanish mackerel. He says he's caught many kings with them as well and stuff. Now, we were throwing this, what do you call that, Dean? What style? Uh, it's just a spearhead. It's a spearhead. worn out. But then we were throwing this. Which is a hex head, and it's a worn out as well. And look, there's no more no more paint, and there's no more skirt. <laughs> the Spanish absolutely tore it up. Here's a good one. Dean, tell them how to work that thing. Really quick and just fast motions, you know. Just like kind of how you would do for pompano fishing when you bounce your pompano jig, just speed it up a little bit more. A little bit more. Just a little bit more than what you would do for pompano fishing. You just bounce quick, 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 quick. Keep it near the surface and they love it. They will whack it on top. Is that a one ounce? Yes, sir. That's one ounce. One ounce, okay. And then we're throwing it really far into the schools of Spanish. As soon as it hits, you snatch. Yeah, it's like snagging almost. Like snatching, he's saying. And what's happening is this thing is going left to right. Oh, yeah. right? Just like a gotcha. It's not club. coming straight in. It's going left to right like a gotcha. Less it, hooks and more fishing, I feel yeah. like. <laughs> and I tell you what was cool about it, too, is that I, it, it felt like it was culling out the bigger fish. Like we weren't catching that many small ones. The big ones were getting attracted to it. Right, yeah. So we were catching, you know, when you throw a small spoon, you catch a lot of 13, 14 inches. We were catching more like 17, 18, 19, 20 inches. The fall pattern, the Spanish are thick, the cigar minnows were thick. And everywhere. Uh, they're everywhere. <laughs> we saw some nice tarpon rolling today. And the jacks. The jacks. Side casted. They chased back to the boat for me and Dean. Uh, they didn't commit. The jacks have been finicky for the last few weeks or a couple so weeks. Weird. Acting, they're really keen on one thing and that's all they want. I don't know if it's mulling or what. That's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to talk about the hex head jig and how this sucker goes left to right and how it culls out the big Spanish, man. The thing is awesome. I will be coming with a, a half ounce. Soon. I'll be coming out with a half ounce size. So, all right, so he's gonna have one that's about half that size. Still darts left to right, just a little lighter for throwing a little lighter rod. Hey, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for hanging out with us right here on Line Cutters after the episode.